For some, today's quake brought back memories of the spring of 1964. Your Alaska Link photojournalists Devin Cutter and Andrew DeCristina visited with one Alaskan whose experience today shook up a lot of memories. I'm not really that sensitive to earthquakes. I'm not. Uh, we've had so many over the years. This is just the first one that took me back. An event like that, you, you remember the details. I was in my family's log cabin, which is about four blocks from where I work now, off of Lake Otis Parkway. Thankfully, the house held together. Our ground was on fairly solid ground, so we didn't have any cracks in the ground, things like that, no foundational problems. But uh, I just remember the back and forth, the back and forth. When today started, I thought, well, that's interesting because it started for a few seconds. And, you know, time always sort of expands when something like that happens, almost slow motion. I kind of thought something's different about this. And all of a sudden things really started shaking and my heart really, it, it literally skipped a beat. It, it took me back 50 years. I think about, am I prepared? Are we prepared? The devastation that surrounded us and how lucky we were to be alive. Not everybody was. Uh, someday the real earthquake will happen, but it really stirred up a lot of emotions for me. Hopefully something like this can actually help people pull together as well as realize maybe I need to hug my kids or my dogs or my wife or my husband just a little bit harder today. You just never know. The 1964 quake brought a series of tsunamis after it, creating much more damage and taking more lives than the actual earthquake itself did.